Now let's talk about the production of wines. Okay, so this is the flow chart. So I'm just going to read this flow chart for you. First sampling of grapes, then the harvesting of this grape, and then the grape is processed. That means simply crushing the grape and to produce what is called must. So this is uh, this this terminology is very important. So remind you, must is a very important component after the mashing of all those grapes. And we get then sulfiting, which is required to reduce uh, the growth of other uh, by, uh, other bacteria. Uh, and then centrifugation or sedimentation or filtration or clarification, whatever, to, to get rid of other type of bu bulk materials from the must. And then we heat it to 85 degrees Celsius temperature. Then followed by the cooling. After the cooling process, our grape juices are ready for the fermentation. Now remind you, fermentation starts from this region, but rest of the part before the fermentation is also important. We need to prepare our product, prepare our substrate. Uh, for the fermentation in this case okay so after the production of the substrate or ready or make make the substrate ready for the fermentation we carry the fermentation process and then racking then blending and then clarification and after the clarification we take the filtration and then after the filtration we can get wine from this step once we get wine we put the wine in for the aging and then after a certain year of aging we need to analyze that whether the wine is good or not whether it can be drinkable or not if it is drinkable we go through a final filtration then bottling of the wine then packaging and then sell now usually the best quality wines usually go through this aging process otherwise you can take wine directly after the processing but it won't taste good because most of the flavors of the wine are added during this aging process because wines are aged in these barrels wooden, wooden barrels uh, which provides the characteristic typical flavor to it so this is another process that we can see here from this part crusher after the crushing event what we get the mash or to produce a mast like structure after that uh, when, when every processing is ready put uh, put all this mixture in the fermenter for and uh, it stays in the fermenter for 7 to 14 days by added with yeast after after the fermentation is done from two uh, to three maximum three weeks then you take out that liquid part and also take out the solid part solid part is taken and it is further pressed and finally leftover is uh, used as cattle feeds and the liquid that is coming for further uh, carried in the fermentation for three to seven days then settling then settling again clarification after the clarification filtration Finally, the bottling and all these things. If we don't need to go through the aging, but if we want aging, we put them in the aging part at this particular stage.